everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to the fourth installment of this little playthrough of the Guild 3 Rogue Campaign, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, so in the last episode we, we started, we, we pickpocketed people and it wasn't that successful. Robin realised he could walk on water. Um, or did, did he walk on, did he escape on the water or did he escape in the air? I think it might have been in the air. Either way, a bit weird. Um, and yeah, so in this episode what we're going to be doing is we are going to be... First of all, leveling up to a citizen, and then we're going to be um, exploring the main aspect of socialization, um, socializing, which comes with that. That's what we're going to be doing in this episode. So while I'm talking, I'm actually going to get Robin to start doing some dancing, so we can begin to level up. I know you're all here for the dancing. Why Why else would you be here, if not to I'm watch hurrying. Robin dance? Let's also get Jürgen at the wild and free to do some dancing. Where are you, Jürgen? Dance for me, man. Da oh, he's here as well. Look, we can be like a double act. Okay. So where that while they're like um, Torvald and Dean or the Chuckle Brothers, whichever one you want to look at it like, um, I'm going to carry on talking about this series. So I'm going to upload an update video at the beginning of next week or maybe the end of this week. I'm going to have to talk to my brother about a schedule we want to put in place, so we need to just finalise that and see where this fits in. So please do make sure you look out for that if you want to see more Guild 3, because that will explain how this series is going to run from now on. Also, um, at this time, we're probably looking to end this Rogue series right now, because there's so many patches that come out between the start of a series and the end of the series, I feel like I need to keep restarting it. Therefore, we're not making probably as much progress as I'd like in each of the series, but at least we're covering some bases. Um, so yeah, but watch out for that. Ooh, look! 12 gold, that's a bit crap. Keep dancing, Robin, we need to level up. Yep, so it's like, no, no, we don't want to be flirting with anybody because we can't go any further with it. You're just going to have to dance. That won't take long. You're going to have to carry on dancing as well, Jürgen. Hopefully they'll throw us some coin and you keep can keep bringing in the coin this episode while we're dancing. Also in this episode we're going to be looking to make a bomb. Well, not not we're probably not going to make one. But we're going to have a quick look at where we can get the materials to make one from. Because in the last episode I was talking about how oh, the market doesn't have the materials. And if you know where to get them from, please do let me know. And somebody in the comments, um, I think his name is Guedes, very kindly told me how that um, we need to look at the writing. We need to look in the detail of everything and it'll probably give us a hint at where to get them. So if we look on here, we can see that we couldn't get any polish. Oh, we're a citizen. Okay, I'll go over that in a second. Um, but yeah, we're a citizen, so I'll go over that now, then I'll carry on talking about what I was talking about. So congratulations, your tireless drive has earned you... Permission to bear a new title. Well done, Robin. Your thievery has brought you new heights of respect in society. I don't really know what kind of message that's sending out. So you belong to the rank of citizen. You are now allowed to own and operate three businesses. You can also receive the following privileges. So we can send ourselves to school or maybe our children to school. Leave office. We can also start a love affair with somebody. Ooh, and if you start a love affair with somebody, it might just lead to marriage. We can also propose marriage. We can declare a feud with someone, which for some reason I find really amusing. I declare a feud with you. Um, form an alliance, which is the opposite. We can also dynastic or dynastic trade, so we can trade between dynasties. Adopt an orphan, which for some reason doesn't have a picture right now, but I assure you that is adopt an orphan. And we can also live in a nice cosy house. We can move up and have a citizen's house if we have enough um, cash to do so. But I don't think we'll be doing that in this series simply because I want to get a new one started the next time I make a video on this um, following the update. So we're now a citizen, which is going to be very important to this episode, and we needed to do that. So I'll keep, I'll just keep the game paused for a second. So yes, as I was saying, we need to find out where to get these materials. So if we go on to polish, we can see that it is in the app. Oh, I can't pronounce this word. Apothecary, apothecary, whatever, apothecary, whatever you want to say in the branch, and that I believe is from herbalism. If you have a quick look, you can see on the skill book. We just scroll down a bit. I think it's on this one. Yep, so herbalism, yep, which is that one. And if we go onto here, we can see that this is where you get your polish from. So you need to find the place with that. 
kind of symbol to say where it is. And if we look on the map very quickly, yep, we've also got, um, we need a clay pot, but I'll show you where we can get them from as well. We look on the map, we can see that the both which we need are up here in the city near the church. So here we have, ah, here we have the Nosegay, which is an interesting name, building where we can get the polish from, and we also have the stone mason, stone masons, stone cutlery right next to it, where we should be able to get the clay pot from. So what we're going to do to start off this episode, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head into the city, and we are going to try and get ourselves a clay pot and some um, polish. Okay, so I have just actually I'm going to slow this down very quickly. I've just got here. I we have reached the building in the city, um, the Nosegay building, the Apothecary blah 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 building. And I've also got Robin doing some dancing while I'm talking, just to earn a bit more money. Um, and we're gonna have a look in here in a second to see if we can buy any polish. I believe we can if we have a look. See, look, we can buy polish. There's plenty of polish. The only problem with that is oh, oh look, they are making things. These buildings do actually seem to make quite a lot of things, and that got sold very quickly, didn't it? Did we get any money for that? Oh, even the guards are look. Look at it. Everyone's loving his dancing in the dancing in the city today. Wow, that that guy's amazed by it. Never seen such good moves in his life. Oh, still tight asses though. And only threw a sixteen, so we can get the polish. My only worry is, can we get the clay bowl? Because right now at the stone cutlery, we don't seem to be able to. I think if you probably hung around long enough, you you might do. But my thinking on this is, we've now actually we've had a look where we can get the polish from. We've had a look where we can get the clay ball from, although we can't actually get it right now. We weren't gonna. I'm gonna actually send him here quickly anyway. We weren't gonna get the clay ball anyway. We we weren't gonna make the bomb because it's kind of just a bit out of the way. And in this episode, I do want to largely um, have. I want to have a look at socializing. Basically getting him a wife. So I think we what we'll do instead. Um, Robin, can you come here, please? Robin! Oh, for Christ's sake, man. Robin, stop being a dick. Right, there we go. If you click long enough, then he'll do it. There we go. Um, so what I want to do instead, I think I'm going to actually use this building, but buy some silver rings instead. Because on his quest to find a wife, he's realised... He might just have to buy something shiny. Now, I'm not saying all women like things that are shiny. I'm just saying from my experience, it's never done any harm to buy some shiny things. Right, we'll have one. I want two. He's going to absolutely spoil this woman. He's going to find her and he's going to be like, yes, she is the one for me. And then she's probably going to laugh in his face. I'm going to have to move on to somebody else. Let's have a look, though. Let's have a look around and see what we can find. Now we've got some... Some silver rings. I'll pause the game because it'll make it a little easier. Um, let's have a look around. Uh, I'm trying to find somebody suitable. Is she suitable? Lisa? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll try. We'll have, we'll have a quick look around here. No, I, I I think she would just slap us round the face. <laughs> she looks very posh, if I don't say so. I do okay. What about her? Is she too too posh? She's got a very long face though. Maybe I should stop being so kind of picky and just just approach one. Beggars can't be choosers, and in all fairness, Henry is not that much of a looker anyway. Okay, we'll we'll. We'll try and approach her. Maybe she'll be too kind of high class for us, but we'll see. Oh, I just scrolled all the way over there, and now it's driving me back. Henry, approach this woman and try and compliment her. All right, she's waiting at least. I don't know why. She must sense it. Somebody wants to flirt with me. I've also put his dagger away because I figured that flirting with a dagger in his hand. I don't know. Would that do him any? Would that help him? Does she like it? Is she, is she happy? Whoa, whoa, yeah. We successfully complimented her, but she can't wait to get away. Whoa. Not so fast. Certainly. You've been scouted out um, in a group of about five people. He's got his eye on you. He's not just going to let you walk away that quickly. See, look, she she's more, she's happier now. She's happier to stay now. We flirt with her a couple of times. 
Try it again, Robin. Just keep complimenting her. Kiss her feet. No, maybe don't. Maybe that's a bit weird. Okay, so now we've passed the initial stage. She's clearly a little bit interested, at least. We successfully complimented her, whatever that means. I think it pretty much means she didn't slap him around the face. Um, so we'll have a go at giving her... Well, we could give her a dagger, but maybe she'd just stab us with it. We'll give her a silver ring and see see what she thinks about that. Naturally. Please, take this silver ring. Oh, she's loving it. She's loving it. And now she's got a big bag on her back to carry this silver ring. It is a very big silver ring. Therefore, you need a very big bag. So we'll again compliment we'll her. We'll see how this keeps going. You like that silver ring? I've got plenty more where that came from. They're also very expensive. They're over a hundred coin. And if I was playing a longer playthrough of this, I definitely would not be chucking multiple silver rings at her. So we're gonna probably we'll we'll see if she's interested in a love affair now. Um, start a love affair with somebody. She, oh yes, she is. Ah, she's loving this. She's absolutely loving this. A bit more, a bit more flirting and complimenting before we know it, she'll be our wife. Like, this is not how it works in real life anymore. If anybody was wondering, this this will not work. It will not work at all. It takes time. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Oh yeah, now she's got the silver ring, she thinks she can just escape like that. Well, I don't think so. That won't take long. No. Last time I did this, I was practicing to make sure I, I knew what I was doing, and all he kept doing was talking about potatoes. Stop running off! Yes. He just kept talking about potatoes, and I'm like, whoa, what are you about, man? Potatoes have never ever wooed a woman. Yes, sir. Right, carry on. See, she loves the compliment in it. Maybe we'll give her another silver ring. Maybe that will seal the deal. See, look, I'm made of money. Have another one. Um. Right. No, it's not sealed the deal. Good. God, she's playing hard to get. We'll keep going. You, you do this enough. Surely she'll cave in. She can't. She can't keep this up. She can't. Ah, oh, there we go. Look. Easy as pie. Okay. So now we've complimented her enough in the space of three hours. Or however long it's been. I wasn't really paying attention. Alright, let's get rid of these. We can now ask her to marry us. How simple. So look, Robin's gone out, he knows he's a good looking chap, and he's decided, he's set his eyes on this, uh, well, I can't read a name because that thing's in, okay, Adalberta, interested name, and he's set his eyes on her, please tell me she's not like 70, is she, oh, she's, she's single, which is a bonus, could have been a bit of a farce if she was married. And he's decided that now is the time to get married and start something else. Throughout his life so far, he's been focused on his hard work and, and robbing people blind and walking in the air and all that good stuff. But now he wants to settle down and carry on being a thief with, with a lady beside him. Okay, so we're going to propose marriage. You can actually have multiple love affairs, so if, if you really want... She's not, is she 27? Is that her age? How old are we? Oh, I can't remember. Um, you can have multiple love affairs, which is interesting. Um, he's not like that, though. Although, in, by trade, he's slanderous and a bit of a dick. In relationships, he's loyal. So, let, let's see. This takes you to a nice little cutscene as well, which is very short. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now pickpocket the bride. And obviously, because it is the Middle Ages, it seems that when you get married, where's um, yeah, there we go. She heads straight back to the family home. How much, how more Middle Ages can you get? This is when she realized she really screwed up when she got back here. It's like, well, this is a bit of a shithole. But yeah, she's in the home now. And obviously, beyond that, you can imagine what happens. But right now, I think to end this episode and this series, I think we're going to get ourselves in a little bit of a scuffle. Yes, we've had the joys of being married. We're probably not going to do it in the city because there's too many guards around. But I've decided that for the end of this, I just, I just want to pick a fight. We can also have a look at some other things as well. But let's pick a fight. Probably not with a woman. That's not very honourable, is it, in this period? Or any period, really. I mean, I'm not... 
Even today, if you pick a fight with a woman, you, you're probably not a, a great person. Where are we? I want to get back to where we are. There's some other things I kind of want to show off as well, but I might just talk about over them. Yeah, we'll pick with one of these. We have we've got our eyes set on fighting one of these, and then we shall declare a feud. I think we'll probably uh, should we arm ourselves. It's not very it's not very gentlemanly like, is it, to pull out a knife in a fight? All right, we'll, we'll arm ourselves anyway. Maybe we'll win. We'll have a better chance of winning. Also, some other things I want to talk about very quickly. Um, there's also this Guildopedia. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but it's very interesting, and it also I think it's going to show you how to do the tutorial in this game and things like that. So that's very interesting. It, it, there's lots of things in it. I don't think it's quite finished yet, but there are plenty of things to have a look at in there, um, and I'm sure when it's finished it'll be quite useful. As well as that, when you go back to your home, you can go to sleep. I'm not sure if that's a new feature or not, or if I've just kind of ignored it in the past. But basically what that means is that it allows you to heal quicker and because, I mean, especially if you're a rogue, that's especially useful if you're a rogue like us because we spend most of our time getting into fights and therefore we take damage. So if we go to bed for quite a while, it will help us heal um, and recover quicker. Where is he? He can't be far away. I think we'll... I, that's not a child, is it? I don't really want to fight a child, I've got to admit. I, I just... It seems a bit nasty, but... Maybe we'll try and pickpocket them first. I'm just kind of messing about with, with them at this stage. Here comes Robin. Where is he? Robin and his thirst for blood. I think he's here. I think he's pretty. Here he comes. Now, he might want to breathe before you attack someone. Well, I'll try and pickpocket them first and see what we can do. Which one looks... I think the, the 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 older guy, the bigger guy, looks like he's probably got more money. No, we don't want to detect wealth. No! 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 That won't take long. No! Alright, we're detecting wealth now anyway. I want to try and pickpocket this guy. I think he could actually have some yeah. decent money. He's hanging around the mine. Maybe he's got his own business. Maybe this could work. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, we lightened his pockets. And we took five gold. But now I have now took a dislike to you, sir. Good. Uh oh. It's like, bang. This seems a bit nasty, but I just kind of wanted to see what attacking somebody was like. Now I'm watching it, I'm thinking that's a bit brutal. Ah, oh, don't kill him. Oh, he's wounded. Bang! He hits his back. Robin just want came out here for a fight. Now oh, we won the. F oh shit. Uh oh. No. No, no. I, th I think it's probably time to leave. I don't want to kill him. I just want to see what the fight action was like. Whether there was like any shoving before. If it was just like a normal fight. No! Stop! Stop! Right, just. Just. Yes. Run away. It's, it's, it's enough now. You've won the battle. I don't really want to break any bones. What's that one? Yeah, we'll steal. Good. Whatever. I just want to see what if there was like a fight, yeah, you know, like when you go out drinking and there's them kind of fights. You can you can sense it coming because somebody just gets really angry, don't they? Like, and then you get one guy shoving another guy, and then somebody else's friend takes offence. Ugh. Good. I just wondered if it was anything like that. Turns out no, it's just a brut brutal bloodbath when Robin's involved. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I just um, I, I made this episode just to have a quick look at um, socialising. And other things like that, because I don't think we'd really covered it enough. What is that bloody noise? Like a bird doing my head in. In my ear. Um, so that's what this episode's been about. If you've enjoyed the Guild 3 so far, series so far, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Leave me a comment as well if you want me to carry on making these videos. Um, I'm not quite sure how often they'll be coming out, but we will probably keep making them, especially if you leave a like on the video. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time with some more Guild 3.